how did I go from this to this? Living in my own world. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, my name is V. I'm a professional model and a YouTuber. And oh yes, I'm a trans male. Was that fine? If in one word I could explain what the world would look like without gender binary, it would look like a kaleidoscope. Let all these colors flow and let people find their space. I was not born a girl. I was assigned female at birth. Being a man doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have a penis. You cannot have a penis and be a man. You cannot have a vagina and be a woman. I was born in 2001. I was born in Lucknow, UP. Then we moved on to Himachal. I was there for 15 years. I was national level cricket player from Himachal. Then we moved back to Delhi uh, two years ago. I started doing college and I started doing the YouTube thing, doing the content creation thing. We double E. Yes, bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this. 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 Girlfriend? Oh. Girlfriend? <laughs> I used to identify as gay, that was lesbian uh, term that was given to me because I wasn't sure what the term trans male was until I came to Delhi and I met people who were trans. Have you heard of the LGBTQ plus? Well, I am the T. I have a soul that is the opposite gender. Well, yes, I'm trans and I'm proud to be me. <laughs> I came to Delhi for a really bad thing. My father died two years ago, uh, so we had to move from Himachal. I think it's really contradicting when I say I am grateful to be in Delhi because I have to my future pe chala hai and who I am. You know, no amount of uh, therapy or self-esteem or, or confidence could like change the fact that the world labeled me as she. While I knew all this time that I was he and that was like completely out of sync, that really like sucked. So I'll tell you what dysphoria feels like. It feels like a being caged. It makes you anxious, it makes you want, wants to cry, it makes you want to tear up your, you know, the body parts you really hate. And the most disgusting thing about being dysphoric is that you don't feel good about yourself, like you as a person and not just your body. I really wanted to like not exist anymore and just like, you know, uh, be somewhere that I was accepted as a male and I didn't have a chest, and I, I didn't have a vagina. It's like a feeling of being like not in a correct body. It can hit you with any any second. Jab bhi, abhi, abhi I'm tri uh, talking about it, it's triggering me. For me, breast uh, dysphoria is very, very, very severe than what I have to my bottom. I cannot go out without wearing a binder. I cannot for the life of me. It makes me so anxious to know that, oh, people, somebody can uh, see that I have, I have chest. Light up and burn out again. I'm fed up. With repeating. As I grew up, I get more and more dysphoric. It became more prominent due to puberty and everything. But the thing was, I didn't know what it was, and that was really, really tough to for me to figure out that this is happening with me. I always like went with my what my brother had. It was not not just because I wanted to be him, like be like my brother, but I really wanted to be him. I wanted to be a guy. I always wore baggy clothes just so that my body could be, you know, hidden from the fact that it is a feminine body and it looked like masculine body. Finally, I came into terms with my uh, gender identity. 
my masculinity i don't owe it to anybody but me i personally feel more connected to my feminine side the day i got on t it made me feel so confident as a man that femininity doesn't scare me anymore first of all you need to go to a psychiatrist and they are going to evaluate you and they are going to tell you that if you are trans or not they give you a recommendation letter that you can start on t then you go and meet an endocrinologist who like uh, suggest you that itne amount ke t pe jao it will help you currently i am on 5.5 months on t also i just realized that this will be the last time my voice is going to sound like this that's freaking exciting One T-shirt costs around three forty-two rupees. Currently, I'm on two hundred fifty mg. So after six months, it changes according to what the doctor prescribes you and like what you need for your body. One month after, I started noticing changes in my voice. I started growing mustache. That was like really, really euphoric for me. My dysphoria was like nowhere. Uh, to be found on certain days the most important thing i love is ki jab main bahar jata hu and i meet my friends they're like the voice kitni zyada change ho gayi and that makes me feel so good about myself i just cannot wait for the changes that i am going to have in the future as well i cannot wait for top surgery from bottom surgery i am walking with my chest out and like there's nothing there it's flat as feeling fabric all over my chest and like that will be the day that i know that i finally won this battle that i have been struggling for like past 18 years i used to be in this like academy that was like all girls and everything so that's the time when i really like felt that i was like romantically attracted to women and i had my first girlfriend when i was like ninth class mein yeah i had my first girlfriend then dating for me is really um, uh, confusing because uh, the last girlfriend i had was a lesbian and i am trans i am a man so isliye hamara breakup bhi ho gaya because she was gay and i was a man i am a very very uh, sex positive person but still being dysphoric uh, it's really difficult to you know uh, have complete pleasure out of it but uh, I think when I am really really uh, comfortable with the person it happens I am really lucky that I got to be a model so suddenly because I see a lot of people struggling agency contacted me on Instagram they told me that they had this like gig for me it was paying and everything and it was for Gora Gupta Kato show 2021 India I got so like mind blown that it was the first thing that I did and it was so huge then I got to be part of GQ cover 20 uh, December 2020 ka <laughs> oh i get misgendered on a daily basis i put this video i was wearing a skirt in that and i got so many comments saying if you are be if you are trying to be a man why are you wearing a skirt why are you wearing makeup why are you putting nail paint first of all i am not trying to be a man i am a man and it's the society that has said ki wo masculine hai wo feminine hai maine bhi unlearn kiya hai ki ek masculinity aur femininity ka ye perceived notion hai i never never used to wear makeup because i i was thought ki it would make me look like a girl but i own that now not every trans person goes to surgery not every trans person is on t because it's it's different for trans people uh, everywhere like some people don't have the privilege some people just don't want to meko mera gender tabhi milega when i like show them ki like mere flat chest and not just because i am telling them ki mera gender male hai you don't ask a, a trans person their dead name their actual birth name because it's dysphoric for them it's triggering for them my mom still calls me by the dead name she's trying to you know get there and i'm and i'm grateful that she's trying to because a lot of people don't get families who are supportive you have seen media outlets approaching gays and lesbians it's like unki lgbtq ki representation wahi pe ruk jati hai aage a lot of movies they do present trans folks but they are just cis people playing trans folks mm-hmm. 
this V uh, term came from a friend when I when I used to identify as female. But as I came out, I stick to this V term because it really like resonated to who I am as a person and how I feel, and has been the happiest he has ever been in his life. Our COVID ground reports cost us about 7.5 lakh every month. You can help our reporting from the ground. Go to thequint.com, click support the Quint tab, choose a plan and pay.